Hi guys, Bob from Day I just got home from work. It's uh, Sunday. Got the first cracking into the first one from uh, Ethan. Ethan Beer Reviews. He sent me a package. Jackie O's Dark Apparition, a Russian Imperial Stout. Cleaning up the house a little bit. Spray some bleach along the walls. Not over here yet, but over there. Do a little whiff of Clorox. I don't think it's going to screw anything up. It's very subtle. Um, hopefully this is very bold. So. <laughs> But anyway, this is from Athens, Ohio, Jackie O's. This is their Russian Imperial Star Dark Apparition. Really, always heard about it. Never tried it. I never, I don't even think I've watched a review on it. Because I don't, I've heard people talk nice about it, but I really don't know any details. A little merciful fate. A little Jackie O's. Why not? Okay, well, obviously I have a dirty glass, but took care of that pretty quick. Visually, just black. Yeah, visually, I mean, just the softest glow of a ruby hue maybe coming from the very tip of the glass. Other than that, just alcohol legs going 10.2 alcohol by volume. I do 10.5 alcohol by volume. Sustainably crafted with purpose. This is the 2014 vintage. Since it's 2015, I can say vintage. You know, I don't feel too, too stupid. <laughs> anyway, I don't feel stupid because I broke the glass down here and I forgot to clean it up, but I don't see anything on the ground, so. Well, I do see a little bit. So hopefully I won't step on that. <laughs> the things that happen when you're busy in life, you forget to do things. Anyway, let's get some aromas. Holy monkey, baby! I am getting soft, soft floral booze. Um, you are getting the, the roasted, toasted coffee, char, smoke, but you're getting a faintest bit of a raisin, soft pipe tobacco in there. Yeah, uh, a little cherry too. I'm getting. Well, that's really nice. This is what I, I think a Russian Imperial style. When I hear the word Russian Imperial style, I think dark fruits mixed with everything else. Because I think, as far as I know, the uh, the ale yeast used in these should present you with more of a darker fruit. A little bit of raisin, fig, date, um, cherry, even black cherry. And I'm getting that in this. And there's a little bit of... Uh, of a, of a booze note, the floral booze, a little bit of that coming through there too, but that just kind of tells its worth. I mean, the head does invigorate, it's not a huge head, but it goes to like black, but then you just swing it around. Um, definitely not a lot of proteins getting clung hung on, I mean the alcohol's kind of cut through that. But let's get a taste on it and see what we think of Dark Apparition. Cheers, thanks Ethan. The overall body is a low, a low full mouthfeel. The, lo the lower side a full mouthfeel. But it has some nice chewy, clingy notes to it. Um, not as clingy as some I've had, but it does cling on for a little bit, let you enjoy it. Work it around your mouth, let it sit in, let it cling on. I'm getting some of those Baker's dark chocolates out of that. Even the slightest thing of milk chocolate. More of the drying. Now it is, is good drying, drying earthiness, char, tannic notes. A little bit of that booze note even too probably drying me out. Even subtle notes of that earthy coffee baker's chocolate as it dries. Not massive fruit notes. Translating from the uh, smell to the taste you know, on the rolling front of this. As you work it around, you still get a little bit of that raisin coming through really nice. And um, get a little bit of that smoked tobacco, that smoked, smoked pipe tobacco. So you're still pulling some of that raisin, but also um, a little vanilla, char, smokiness.
Oh, the nose is great. Really like the nose. Yeah. Overall, I think it's it's good. I like it. Um, could definitely drink more. More is good. Um, yeah, a little bit on the low, uh, the low side of full. The 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 flavors are nice. They don't cling on for very long, but they are pretty damn solid for the style. Let's see what it says. Hauntingly good brew in your hand, the ripe with dark complexity. Seven malts were used to create this deep flavors of coffee, chocolate, caramel, and molasses. Hints of bitterness of herbal characters from carefully selected European and American hops should support a monolithic maltiness. Uh, true uh, uh, decadent brew, blah, 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 pour your favorite snifter, give it time to warm up from this dark and cool resting place. It is 59 degrees down here. I think we're good, just the way it is. It is nice. It is nice. Um... Is it not going to blow my doors off? No. It's not. But that's not a bad thing, though. It's not saying it's bad. Definitely not. Um, I'd definitely like to homebrew this. But I would say probably give it around a 9. Yeah. 9. Now that you can do quarter points, on huh? Untapped. 9.25, baby. <laughs> I know I don't do quarter points on my, my PA Brew News uh, video. So I'm just going to throw it at the 9. Throw it at the solid 9. But for the ABV, it's super smooth, easy drinking, which is very nice. Let's see what the cuss. No sediment. I'm not really seeing any sediment down there. I don't think so. No. Yep. Even with everything in, I want to make sure. Um, Still very nice, like it, smooth, a little creaminess in there. Um, there it is, nine out of ten. It's still a good beer. I think you should definitely get a go if you like. If you're big into the Imperial Stout section of the world, uh, this is definitely one that you should have on your bucket list to try. Um, much, much like all Imperial Stouts, I, mean, I got to try them. And uh, th this is definitely not disappointing me. A 9 out of 10 is a fine brew. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Thanks a lot, Ethan. I don't know if this is a long or short review. I'm just uh, talking like that. Cheers.